Okay, here's a little update slash recap of what's going on here. So, I tried a couple starts off camera just because I wanted to be cool and show that it was running right when I turned the camera on, right? Like, oh my god, look, fucking it's working because I'm the man. Well, okay, here's what I've done. I got all the wiring situated just about. Uh, this, I think, has to do with the charging, this fuse has to be an inline so one of these wires is going to be my wire that charges the battery at least that's what I think I could be wrong I don't know it's a regulator of some kind that he's like soldered soldered together so you tell me what that is really I mean <clears throat> I don't know right now I don't care Got the fuel filter on, of course. Carburetor's hooked up correctly. Vacuum lines, eh, I don't know if those are all on right. Now, I did have the electric choke hooked up, but I hooked it to a positive wire that worked off the key that actually, oh fuck, I'm so tired right now. It actually interfered with the spark. It shut the spark system down, so I had to disconnect it. Now that's whatever. But doing so, all this shit, trying to get it to run with the starter, I overheated it and it seized up. I think I can bring it back to life. It's just in a bad spot to get out. So I'll do that later. So I've been using my drill on the side. I'd open this back up. And the battery died on the drill right when I got going. So I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod. We'll try a couple squirts of ether. We'll run it. Should work. You know, it should fire off the fuel, but with it been sitting and the fuel doesn't smell so hot too, to be honest. I put new gas in it. It's just what we're getting right now out of the bottom. Uh, and it kind of looks murky, so it might have had some water in it. I should have actually, to be honest, run the gas out a little bit before putting it on but fuck it ether that's what that's for right okay everything seems to be on I'm just gonna put a little bit of this shit in there yep, just a little bit oh. ah she's trying she's kicking Getting too packed full of fuel. Coming really hard. Let's try a little bit. I can't really do it at the same time. Awkward spot. You run smooth without it. Oh yeah, she's trying. Come on, Betsy. Turn her to run. God damn it. Come on, bitch. on a shut off valve because it just seemed to keep filling up the crank and made it hard to start sometimes too. Other thing, I took the starter off to uh, look into refurbing it. I can't do it. And why? Now when I say I can't do it, I mean I can't take this the back off. I could take the starter off, but they put Phillips, fucking Phillips. And I've rounded them out. I've tried every Phillips I had to try to get them, and I, I can't. I can't fucking do it. So I looked into how much does it cost to get a starter. $60. $60 fucking dollars. Are you kidding me? I didn't even pay that much for this. 
So scratch that, it's gonna be kickstart only. For now I'm using the drill because I'm working out all the bugs and after that, it, it did kick over really nice lately, but I, I just get so tired of doing it, oh my God. My big fucking feet on them little fucking kickstarters. Well, here's what I wake up to. Fucking gas and the smell of it everywhere because this fucking thing popped off. I need a goddamn little fucking pussy clamper. You know, fucking tight fucking Kittle pussy clamp thing on there. Otherwise, I'll have to smell and look at gas for the rest of my fucking life. It sucks because I just filled that fucking tank up. God damn it. So I got the channel locks on it now to stop it. I need a pet cock also. Pet cock on that motherfucker. God damn it. So I gotta go run to Napa. I fucking did it. 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 Alright, next step is cleaning up this mess that the fucker made when it didn't have to be made. I have no idea why he did all this shit. To begin with so <clears throat> apparently everything seems to be working fine I'm going to look in the blueprints before I throw this out but I don't think this is needed second thing is I'm going to go ahead and connect this to that which is the choke disconnect this which is part of the choke again out of the off of this is a negative so the chokes not on continuously find a negative that turns on with the key and doesn't affect anything else and go ahead and hook it to the choke. Oh, my camera skills. Oh, 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 fucking stupid. Anyways, why do I say anyways? I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that out, maybe. Get that going. It should control the idle. I think that's why the idle was getting so high was because the choke was on. Now that's my guess. Now the other thing might be is because if you look in there, fucking light, get the fucking light. That's still kind of open. And it should be seated a little more. In the back it's seated a bit more, if you can see in there. But it's still kind of open. Now, I have this backed out all the way. So it's in the cable that's still pulling on it. So I need to find some more adjustment. Because this is max. I have this as loose as I can get it on the uh, throttle cable. So I need to either go up here to that son of a bitch and see if I can get some more cable to release and let it drop that plunger. I had a little boo-boo so I was uh, revving it up here pouring out a lot of gas out of the tailpipe because it's a two strokes do sometimes if uh, you don't turn the gas off it'll fill the crank up. Uh, it might have been still full from when um, I was trying to start it. It was sucking gas. Anyways it got caught on my buggy project, this thing, because it tried to take off and crashed into this doing a wheelie. So nothing really got hurt here, especially on the front. We'll go take a look, but uh, this part snapped off. So maybe some JB well, but it's right on a bolt hole. So we might get lucky there. Just the bolt can hold it on there. No one will know. Uh, looks like the nose didn't take any damage. This blinker thing did. Um, that's from the buggy. And now it's all kind of fucked up. <laughs> so I'll have to put a screw there. Because it's just a rivet that's supposed to hold it. My fault. I thought I could be cool and rev it up while it was on the kickstand.